Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss the comparable interface. Then in the next episode, inshallah, bi idhnillah and God willing, we will discuss the comparator interfaces. And I am glad we reached this point in the playlist or in the tutorial because after that we only have I believe it would be Maven then unit testing and yeah I believe that would be it oh yeah and modules I forgot about modules I was thinking of adding the stream API as well to this playlist perhaps I will leave it to the intermediate level though I feel for a beginner streams are important but a part of me believes it it is also a bit advanced for a beginner so i am still contemplating and uh, deliberating but we will see what happens but for now we have the comparable interfaces uh, but before we begin Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen. Warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een, Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala alihi Ibrahim. وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. We begin in the name of Allah, the most um, uh, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank Him for all of His blessings that He has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companion as and his followers, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his followers. If you recall in a previous video, I believe it was collection sorting, the the name of the video that is, we showed that integers or strings, basically anything, uh, any data type I should specify, that can be ordered, is ordered uh, in an ascending order or ordered naturally through the collections.sort method. However, when we created the profit class, a custom class, or I should say a complex class that contains different types of data types there was an issue with sorting so i will replicate this before we actually discuss the comparable interface here i am creating two array lists one for strings and one for integers uh, error list new array list okay i will create two strings and add them to the list then two errors or epochs and add them to the list then we will sort them after that let me create the list now after that i will create a list of the profit class and then try to sort that and see what happens. It will yield errors, obviously, as we have seen previously. And here we will discuss why we encountered that error. Okay, let us start adding lists, um, adding um, the error and names to the respective lists. Hmm. I do not remember the uh, the errors or the epochs I added last time. Okay, so for Prophet Abraham, I added around 2600 BCE because he was at the time of the Akkadians, if I recall correctly, which was the time of uh, 
what was uh, what was he called Nimrod yeah I think he was an Akkadian or from the Akkadian Empire that is could be Akkadian or Gutian I honestly I am unsure so let us say 2600 then Prophet Moses was around uh, so there was the Babylonian diaspora which happened during the Assyrians um, most likely Prophet Musa, peace be upon him, was either in the Gutian era or the Sumerian era. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Let us say 2000 BCE. Or perhaps 1900 BCE. And lastly, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was roughly uh, six. Well, uh, the Battle of Badr was 624. Yeah, so it, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was roughly at the end of the fifth century. Let us say 624 uh, ACE, which was the time of the uh, Battle of Badr. Then let us add names. Name list add. Here we will say um, Prophet Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. Then we will add Prophet Musa, peace be upon him. And I am using the spelling by which they are known in Islam. I am not using the anglicized names, mainly because... How should I phrase this in English? We are closer to these prophets than the people who claim are closer to them, such as Christians or Jews. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Okay, now let us organize the list. So here we will say collect um, era list before sorting. And we will merely type list like that. Oh, I forgot the concatenation operator. And besides, all the prophets were uh, uh, Muslims. Prophet uh, Yeshua, peace be upon him, was not Christian. Prophet Mos Musa, peace be upon him, was not Jewish. They were all Muslims. After sorting. Sort and add the extra curly braces here and I believe I am missing an import cannot be applied oh, I have to sort it first then okay no problem sort it and then because I do not believe ca this sorting method returns anything uh, ah yeah okay this should work now. Then I will copy this, paste it here for the name list. But instead of error list, obviously I will use name list. But the Zahi way is always the better way, except for exception handling, as I keep reminding. <laughs> Let us see how this list will be organized. Perhaps I should adjust this a bit because these are already organized alphabetically. Uh, okay, now they are uh, uh, organized alphabetically. Now let us execute this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, before sorting, we see that it follows the sequential order or insertion order, however you wish to phrase it. Then after sorting, though this of course is inaccurate because these two are BCE and this is ACE. 
so these will always precede this but the reason this is being sorted in such a manner because these are integers or uh, these are integers so numbers do not know dates so uh, so they will obey their natural order then for the names before sorting they obey the insertion order or the sequential order then here they obey the natural order which is ascending order or al alphabetical order so this is functioning as it should function and perhaps i should change this to integer just to avoid any issues with null values though i will not use any null values but just in case because integers are reference data types So what if I wish to create a list of profits, then sort them? Let us see the issue. And then we can move on to the comparable interface. Profit list, I will add them as anonymous objects. Instead of creating three objects, then adding them, I will create them anonymously like so. <coughs> Here we will add profit Musa. And his era, um, he said 1900 BCE. Profit list at new profit. Profit Ibrahim. And we said 2600. Yep okay then profit list dot add new profit profit muhammad peace be upon them all and six two four there we go and i just realized we cannot print the list like so without having the two string method overridden to show us a proper output you know what i will show you what it appears like without the two string method overridden as you can see it shows us it shows us the hash basically memory eh, it's not technically the memory address but you can perceive it as such for simplicity so let us generate a two string method to print everything properly since I have been working with JSON for too long, <laughs> the JSON object that is, or the JSON format, that is what I will use. I will put this on a new line, then press tab to push it forward. And then after that, we have a new line here, then tab after that we have a new line here and of course this is string not a character anymore there we go okay now if we execute this it should give us the output as expected but i do not wish to have this on the same line as the square brackets which are which is provided by the the uh, <coughs> two string method for array lists so i will add this here and then add this well actually no need let me check this and see okay perfect so we have yeah well this is not obviously json because i am missing the double quotes but think of it as a javascript object then and i need to add a new line here this is purely for formatting purposes yep, i just want these square brackets to be on a separate line nothing more okay and as you can see they are ordered based upon the insertion order or their sequential order what happens when i sort you probably remember from the previous video that this will yield errors. Profit list 
before sorting. Then collections dot sort profit list. And here is the error that we have seen previously. No instance of type variable T exists so that profit conforms to the comparable interface. Let us explain this in a manner that is not confusing. At least this appears to be confusing for me. I would not understand exactly what the issue is. We have discussed the natural order previously. Numbers have their numerical order in ascending order and letters slash strings or words are organized based upon alphabetical order, which is also the ascending order naturally. Unnaturally, that would be descending order, you will, uh, which you will require customization. When we had these two lists for integers and strings, we did not have any issue. Why do we have an issue with this array list then? This will require us to investigate the integer class and the string class to see why these two did not yield errors, whereas this class yielded an error. Let us check and see. This is the integer class and this is the string class. Let us look at integers because numbers are quite simple. Integers extend number. Yes, that is the super class of the numerical values, but we do not care about that. This is what we care about. Implements the comparable interface and passes this class itself as a, what was it called? A parameter for this generic interface. Okay, let us check the comparable interface and see what it offers that should be overridden in the integer class or defined. It provides us with a compare to method where you are comparing to an object of data type T because it is generic, whatever you pass as a parameter will become T. So if you are comparing an integer class, T here will be of data type integer and so on and so forth. And it returns a number. What does this number symbolize? This is where the mathematics we discussed previously come into play. Compares this object with the specified object for order. So it compares an object of this class with an object with another object from the same class. We will see how it how this is implemented and then we will see how we can implement it. So it compares this object with the specified object for order as in the natural order obviously. Returns a negative integer as zero or a positive integer as this object is less than equal to or greater than the specified object they should have added respectively this is where the mathematics that we discussed previously come into play if one object is greater than the other object that means the value will be negative and remember we do not care about the actual value we just care about the sign if the element on the left is greater than the element on the right, the value will be negative. It does not matter what the value is as long as it is negative. Uh, sorry, uh, it will be um, if the value on the left is greater than the value on the right, the, va the number will be positive, which indicates that the number on the left is not in the correct order. The number on the right should swap places with the number on the left to 
preserve the natural order or ascending order. If the number on the left is lesser than the number on the right, then the subtraction will yield a negative sign, which indicates that these two numbers are in the correct order, and that is why the comparable interface or the sorting mechanism, mechanism or in this scenario, the compare to method, will keep the two values as they are. If the two values equal each other, that means they are the same value, uh, the same element or the same number. That is why the difference will be zero. That is also why I wished to discuss the, <coughs> uh, the mathematics of sorting before discussing this. Now, here is an issue. What will be the, because the return type here is integer, what will be the value? We must return a value. We will see what we return in a moment. Now let us return to integer and locate the compare to, I am not reading through all of this. <laughs> Where is the compare to, ah, uh, there we go. compares two integer objects numerically. Compare to the data type is integer because we are in the integer class and as you have seen, it passes the integer for as a parameter for the comparable interface and it is called another integer. So this is the second element. Where is the first element? This and we discussed this, that this keyword that is. So we are comparing the class, an object from the class itself with another object from the same class. And here we implement the compare method. What is the compare method? Well, this uh, relies on another interface, which we will discuss later on, bi'ithnillah and God willing, called the comparator interface. So do not worry about this now. However, here you can see this is a ternary operator, which we discussed previously. Here you can see the different values. If the number on the left is lesser than the number on the right, return a negative number. We will see why this is one later on. If they are equal, return a zero. Otherwise, this uh, means that y is greater than x, so return a positive number. We will discuss why it is one and negative one when we discuss the compare method that is part of the comparator interface. So you do not have to worry about that now, but you know the different results for the comparison regardless. So that means when you create an array list or a collection or an array of integers, they are programmed automatically through these two methods to sort themselves automatically through the sorting method in, a, in the natural order or in ascending order. Why? Because the integer class implements the comparable interface. Basically, if it, compare, if it implements the comparable interface by default, automatically integers will always be sorted not necessarily integers, any numerical data type, will always be sorted based on ascending order or natural order. Which method is responsible for detecting this implementation? It is the sort method. Because our profit class does not have the implementation for comparable, the sorting method is detecting that absence and alerting us to the error. So the sorting method 
relies heavily on the presence of the comparable interface which in turn provides us with this method and indirectly provides us with this method. Now if we look at the string class we will see that it implements comparable as well and if we check the compare to method uh, if I can find it uh, there we go and as you can see another string and well value as in this dot value you can, we can search for it in the instance variable section there value but there there is really no need to add this dot but you can add this dot however we cannot change this as you can see it is rendered in reader mode only because this is part of the java library this of course compares each letter or each string in alphabetical order and then organizes them accordingly here is a brief glimpse of the comparator interface which we will discuss in the upcoming video Allah and God willing. So now we know what we must do. However, this is this string com comparison will not be implemented for uh, will not be implemented in the profit class. We will lean towards <coughs> this simplistic comparison. I will show you how to implement the compare to method where not. So now we know that we have an issue with this array list because this class does not have the comparable interface implemented. Thus, the sorting method does not know how to sort. Besides, we have strings and integers. Should the sorting method sort based on strings or based on integers? Because of, because of the complex nature of this class, the sorting method is unsure of how to organize or sort this class or an array list of this class. So it creates an issue as you clearly see. How do we resolve that issue? We resolve it through the comparable interface. Okay, let us actually implement the comparable interface. Hmm, perhaps I will leave this so that you can see when the error disappears. You can see it from the red underline here. When it disappears, we will no longer have the error implements the comparable interface. Now what is the class that we wish to use for the comparable interface? Well, now we are sorting based on profits, not strings or integers, but based on profits. As in, we wish to pass, well the error disappeared here, we wish to pass a profit class to an array list and then use the array list of the profit class in the sorting method. So here we will simply pass in profit like so. Then we have an error because we still need to implement a method. What is the method? Override public int as we have seen in the integer class compare to and as you uh, okay the error is still there uh, return zero and it is still there uh, method does not override did i misspell it perhaps oh i need to add the class here so it will be profit another and here the error disappears so we have successfully implemented the class obviously it will not do anything with this zero here but we have successfully implemented uh, the abstract method if you forget what it wh uh, what is the name of the method or how it is defined you can simply click here and this is available in any ide if i recall correctly not a text editor obviously but <laughs> but an ide 
Okay. So how do I wish... Um, another. That way it is this and another. Or we can call it that. This and that. Okay. So how do I wish to sort the profit class? Well, here I have two data types, string and integer. I can sort the list of profits based on the name or based on the error or the integer in this scenario. The disadvantage of the comparable interface lies within what I said a few seconds ago. We cannot compare or allow sorting for all instance variables or all data types within a class. We have to choose one and only one. We cannot use this to compare multiple data types. So how do we overcome this disadvantage or this restriction through the comparator interface, which we will see later and God willing. Here, for the sake of this example, and also to avoid the issue with the differences in calendars between BCE and AC and ACE, I will sort based on the name of the prophet. So I will use the string here. Okay, well, how do we compare with strings? I will show you this dot name dot and then oh, sorry, I have to take this. I will be right back. Apologies for that. I have returned. Hopefully I did not leave you in suspense. Okay, let us type this again. This dot name dot. So how do we compare strings? Because of the complex nature of the compare to method, I will show I will show it to you again. Blah 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 blah. We cannot truly. Sorry, I have to take this again. I will be right back. Apologies once again. I have returned. Because of the complex nature of string comparison, combined with the fact that we cannot subtract strings from one another, as we have seen with the numerical values, what we do is we call the compare to method using the string. So we are using this dot name, which is this one, for this class. Then we will use that dot name, like so. And that will compare the two together. However, here we still have to return an integer, so we simply add the return statement like so. Remember, do not perform this, because that will cause issues since you cannot subtract strings to, from one another. You will have to use it, you will have to compare them using this approach. Now let us run this as you can see the error disappeared fully now let us see how the list appears after sorting okay before sorting we have prophet musa then prophet ibrahim then prophet muhammad peace be upon them all after sorting we have prophet ibrahim and his accompanying error because both the string and the integer are part of a single object now or a single class. So the error is inadvertently, or I should say inexorably instead of inadvertently, connected to the name in its sorting. So here, for example, Prophet Musa and his error is 1900. Prophet Ibrahim and his error is 2600 when we sort it based on the name any other instance field connected to that name is automatically accompanying it so you will not say 
you will not see Prophet Ibrahim here, but with the era of Prophet Musa, of course. So even though we are sorting with the name, everything else accompanying the string will be sorted with it. Obviously, the errors will not be sorted in numerical order because we are sorting based on names. And lastly, we have Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all, in the list. Well, you may ask yourself, how do I use the compare to method for integers? Very simplistic approach. I will remove this from compilation just to show you how we can sort based on integers. Here we will return a simple subtraction this dot error minus that dot error. The result of this subtraction will be returned. This is used by the sort method and then sorts accordingly based on the mathematics that we discussed. If this is less than that, the value will be a negative value. The sorting method will keep... Uh, uh, what, uh, yeah, right here. The sorting method will keep those two elements in that order because it is the correct natural order. If that is greater than this, the resultant will be a positive number. So these two will switch places. If this is equal to that, then the resultant will be zero and they will remain in that spot. Okay, let us sort these, but with the error this time, instead of the names. So as you can see here, obviously this is incorrect because these are two different calendars before common era and after common era. I will not say before Christ, peace be upon him, and after uh, Anno Domino because that indicates that Prophet Yeshua, peace be upon him, is a god. He is not. I am not Christian or any other religion. I am Muslim. All prophets are human beings. They are not gods. I believe some some even think Prophet Enoch, peace be upon him, is a god. If I recall correctly, I could be mistaken. Anyways, so here you can see that the numerical values have been organized in their natural order. So remember, strings and integers or any data type that has a natural order comes with, uh, is accompanied by that natural order by default through the implementation of the comparable interface. Custom classes obviously do not have that implementation by default, thus you have to implement them manually or explicitly. Then, unfortunately, you are limited to the comparison of a single data type and only a single data type. I will show you what happens when we have two errors of the same value. I will add another prophet who was present during the time of Prophet Ibrahim and he was his... I keep forgetting if, if, if he was his cousin or his nephew. I always forget that. I believe he was his nephew. He was the son of Prophet Ibrahim's brother. And his name is Prophet Lut. In English, he is Prophet Lut, L-U-T, who was sent to Sodom and Gomorrah, also known as West... I mean... <laughs> okay. Also known as what you see on television. You, I do not need to name countries now. Anyways. <laughs> Prophet... Um, uh, Lut... Um, problem is, uh, yeah, here it, it is considered a long O because of the E after. And they were at the same time. Prophet Ibrahim even met the angels 
that were headed towards Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy it. So Prophet Lut was at the same in the same era as Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon upon them all. Remember, currently I am sorting with the era. So these two numbers will yield a difference of zero. Let us see what happens in the organization or the sorting. So the insertion order here, or the sequential order, involves Prophet Ibrahim before Prophet Lut. Here, in the organization, it is the same as the sequential order, Prophet Ibrahim before Prophet Lut. Peace be upon them. Why? Because this minus this gives a zero, so the sorting algorithm of this method keeps these two values in their spots. It does not switch them as with these two values that we have seen. If we reversed the locations in the insertion order, then Prophet Lut will precede Prophet Ibrahim in the sorting. Here we go. The reason they obey the insertion order is because the differences between the two integers yields zero. However, they will obey the natural order, as you can see here. This is the smallest number, so it comes at the beginning. Then this number and then these two numbers are at the end. So they do obey the sorting algorithm. But they themselves are not reorganized or sorted because these two yield a zero in the difference. These obviously change from the insertion order, as we see here, because the subtraction yields different signs and different well, I should not say magnitude because we do not care about the value. Lastly, I will show you how you can use the, or rather, where compar the comparable interface is used on your computer. You probably have used this multiple times, but you were unaware of how it actually functions. Uh, I have, okay, let us see here. I have this angular project. If I click on the arrow for name here, it is reorganized in descending order. See, this begins with a T. The dot here, uh, oh, I forget. Uh, folders have a different order than files. So it organized by file, then it organized by folder normally the comparable interface implemented in Windows would have files precede folders where files are ordered in alphabetical order and then folders as such as well. The dot here uh, is used for hidden folders and they normally come at the very beginning. So if I click here again, this is ascending order for folders and then for files. If I click here, it, come, it becomes descending order. And look at the dates, they match. So the date here matches, it does not take the, the date of this. So that means any instance variables or fields accompany the compared instance variable in its organization or sorting. This is where you use the comparable or comparator interface. Obviously, Windows is built upon C, so the mechanism is slightly different, but the concept is still the same. Two values are compared, then the subtraction takes place. After that, uh, if it is negative, the values remain the same. If it is positive, the values are swapped. If it is zero, the values remain the same. And it also means that they are equal. And that is it for the comparable interface. In the next episode, bi and God willing, we will cover the comparator 
interface and show you the advantage of using the comparator interface over the comparable interface. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. <coughs> وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد